Hi everybody, I'm Lawrence Todd at Design911 and today I'm going to be giving you a tech talk on engine mounts. Engine mounts are a key component of your engine system. You may know them as motor mounts. An engine mount does what it says on the tin. It mounts your engine to the car's chassis or monocoque, but it does a lot more than just hold your engine in place. An engine creates a rotational force known as torque, and as balanced as your engine is, it will create vibrations. Engine mounts create a reaction force to this torque, preventing your engine from twisting, and they also help absorb any vibrations that the engine creates giving you a much more peaceful and smooth ride. Typically, engine mounts are made from rubber or polyutherane, PU. As a result, they can wear. How do you know if your engine mounts have worn? Well, fortunately, there are a few telltale signs and symptoms that you may experience. The first one is vibrations. If an engine mount becomes compressed or the rubber splits, its ability to absorb energy is massively reduced. As a result, you may be driving your car and feel much more vibration through the car. This is a sign of a worn engine mount. Another sign of a worn engine mount is either a bumpy ride or a rocky start. As you can imagine, when an engine starts up, it suddenly creates rotational force. If your mounts are worn, this rotational force goes straight into the car and you'll feel a jolt. Likewise, Upon like sudden acceleration or deceleration of the engine, the rotational force of the engine changes and you'll feel those, jo those jolts through the car. In addition to the vibrations and the bumpy ride or rocky start, you may hear noises come through the car. This is similar to the noises that are generated from worn suspension components. If you're driving along and hear kind of knocking noises, it could be coming from your suspension but it's also worthwhile to check your engine mounts because that is a sign of a worn engine mount. Final sign of a worn engine mount is actually a visual sign. If it is possible to see your engine mounts, if you look at them and you notice that the rubber is either compressed or cracked, that is a sign of a worn engine mount. Or if you have engine mounts that use hydraulics, they're filled with oil. If they're leaking or weeping or look wet, again, that is a sign of a worn engine mount. They shouldn't be wet, they should be containing all of the oil that's inside them. If your engine mounts are worn, what should you do? You should try and replace them as soon as possible. In addition to the symptoms that you'll be experiencing that I just explained above, which will make your ride a lot more uncomfortable, you can cause additional and unnecessary wear to other components of your car. As the engine mounts hold an engine in place, when they wear, they no longer hold that engine where they should be. As a result, you can cause unnecessary and excessive wear to other engine components, such as your water pipes or fan belt. It's an investment replacing engine mounts before they become too worn and start damaging other parts. Here I have an example of a worn engine mount. This has come off this 997 behind me that Graham's just taken off and replaced with a new engine mount. It's a great example of a worn engine mount. First of all, visually, just looking at it, you can see that all of the rubber that it's around the mount has kind of perished and is all clipping, chipping away. And all of the oil has actually seeped out of this engine mount. I'm not sure if you can see in here, but it is all wet and it has lost all of its oil. As a result, the engine would sit across here and I can freely move this with very little effort and I can also lift it up and down. When you compare that to a new hydraulic engine mount, I can hardly move this spike and I definitely can't lift it up and down. To visually inspect this engine mount, you would be wanting to look, you'd want to jack up the back of your car and look underneath and you're looking for this kind of area to see what the condition of the rubber is and to see if there's any kind of like oil droplets or moisture around it, which shows that it's leaking its oil. Here I have some examples of Porsche OEM engine mounts. This engine mount is from early 911s, ranging from the years of 1965 
1989. It's a small engine mount with a rubber insert. This is an upgraded engine mount for the 964 993 Porsches. As you can see, it's slightly bigger, but again, it's still a rubber insert to help absorb any vibrations. After the 993, Porsche made a hydraulic engine mount. This engine mount combines both a rubber insert as well as oil. This engine mount was made for the 996 and the 997. Going to the 991, Porsche used a very similar system as the 996 and 997, but as you can see, it's got bigger. All of these engine mounts get bigger, typically just because the engines are generating more power and there's more force to absorb and more vibrations to absorb. From the 991, Porsche also introduced PADM, which stands for Porsche Active Drivetrain Mount. This is an example of a PADM mount. What it allows you to do is basically change the energy absorbing properties of the engine mount from the inside the car. So if you wanted it to absorb even more energy to give you a more kind of comfortable ride, you can do, or you could set it so it's a lot harder to give you much more of a racy feel, completely dependent on your personal preferences for driving the car. Here, we also have an engine mount for a Boxster or Cayman. As you can see, it is completely different in design and shape. That is purely because the Porsche, the Cayman and the Boxster have the engine in front of the gearbox, whereas the 911s all have the engine behind the gearbox. So if you are experiencing any of those symptoms of worn engine mounts, fortunately or unfortunately, you don't have to buy a new car. You can buy replacement engine mounts. Design 911 has a selection of engine mounts that you can either replace like for like or upgrade your engine mounts to. Starting with an early 911, you can just replace your engine mount with a standard OEM engine mount, which as I mentioned earlier, is all rubber. Alternatively, you can go for a very similar engine mount, which is again, all rubber, but this is beefed up. As you can see, it's slightly bigger. It's a more durable, uh, it's a more durable rubber as it is bigger and it helps absorb more energy. One thing, to, one thing to bear in mind, if you do go for this option, is that you will also need slightly longer mounting bolts but this is supplied with the engine mount. If you want to keep all of the same kind of geometry and you still want to upgrade your engine mount, one option is to use the standard engine mount, but instead of using a rubber bushing is to use PU polyutherane bushings. This is an example of a PowerFlex polyutherane bushing, which can be installed in this steel pressing. There's two options. If your steel pressing is in good condition, it's not corroded and it still has its structural integrity, you can just drive out your warm bushing and install a new one. Alternatively, you can purchase from Design 911 this engine mount with the PU bushing already installed. Moving to the 964 and the 993, one option to upgrade your engine mount from the standard OEM engine mount is to use this solid uniball engine mount. This is completely solid. There is no rubber, so it is a very racy upgrade you may feel a lot more kind of vibration. You may feel a lot more vibrations from the engine through the car, but you'll have much more feel to the car. Moving to the 996 and 997, you can replace your worn engine mount with an OEM hydraulic engine mount. Alternatively, you can buy a semi-solid engine mount, which is pre-fitted with an uprated bush. We like to call this a fast street bush. One benefit of using this upgraded semi-solid bush is that, you, is that you have the option to downgrade the polyutherane bush to either a slightly softer polyutherane, which resembles something more like rubber, or alternatively, you can upgrade the bush, something even harder for track or race setup. Moving to the Cayman and Boxster engine mounts, again, there are plenty of options for you if you have a worn engine mount. You can just replace your engine mount with an OEM engine mount if it is worn. Alternatively, if you've been inspired to check your engine mount and noticed that your engine mount isn't worn, but you're still interested in potentially upgrading your engine mount to give you a little bit more performance, instead of changing the engine mount, you can purchase an upgrade insert. This insert installs into your existing engine mount, into some cutouts in the rubber, 
and help stiffen up the engine mount, giving you that kind of upgraded bush without actually changing the bush. If your engine mount is worn and you need to replace the bush, again, there are a few options. You can either drive out the existing bush and install a like-for-like -like replacement. You just drive out this in a hydraulic press and drive in a new one. Alternatively, if you don't have the facilities to drive out the old bushing, you can just buy a complete unit. If you're looking to upgrade your engine mount, again, there are several options for you. You can buy a complete unit that has already been upgraded for you, or you can buy an upgrade kit. Again, the upgrade kit would require you to drive out your old bushing and then put in a new one, depending on which option you go for. There are two. These again, all PU bushings, but one is a lot softer than the other. So if you want a really racy kind of track car feel, you'd go for a black one, which is very hard. Or if you want more of a touring, luxurious comfort ride, you could go for this yellow one, which is a lot softer. Once you've driven out the old bushing, which is here, all you would have to do is press these in. It's a lot easier to press in the new bushings than it is to press out the last one. Alternatively, you can save yourself the hassle and just buy an upgraded engine mount from Design 911. All of these parts and more are available on the Design 911 website. If you're interested in replacing your engine mounts for OEM or you're looking to upgrade them, if you head to design911.com, once you're on the website, if you enter your vehicle model and then go to the left-hand side where it says part categories, scroll down to engine rebuild parts. If you scroll through this grid, you'll eventually get to the box that says engine mounts. Clicking on this box will then present to you all of the different engine mount options available for your car. If you can't find what you're looking for or you have any questions, feel free to drop Design 911 an email or give them a call. They're more than happy to help.